No, my own, nor welcome back. Self styled preacher Brian Tamaki is destined for court after drag queens filed defamation action against him and associates, claiming $2 million in damages. The rainbow performers say the hatred directed at them damaged their business. The Destiny Church leader says they're not afraid of any legal action. Reporter Yvonne Tahana has more. Two drag queens with a story to tell. They would dress up in colourful outfits, read magical stories. Well, Brian Tamaki decided they didn't want these entertainers entertaining anymore. Today, outside at the High Court in Auckland, one half of that duo going into battle, laying 16 individual claims of defamation on behalf of the pair. This is about one-eyed bigotry versus diversity and inclusion and hate versus acceptance. The claim names Brian Tamaki, a number of trustees from his church, individual pastors and church members from Auckland and Hastings. It relates to her business House of Flash, which ran rainbow storytime sessions for children in libraries across New Zealand. Protests last year by Destiny Church members saw events cancelled. Sunita Torrance says she could not guarantee the safety of attendees. The performers say they were targeted with disgusting lies and defamatory statements were made about them, which in turn negatively affected their livelihoods. My drag partner Daniel, um, he has actually permanently moved to London. You Google his name and up comes other words that come up with that that are very unsatisfactory. Um, so it becomes a, a bit of a black strike against our names. From London, Erica Flash, aka Daniel Lockett, defended his work with educators. children. Both of us are police vetted and certified just like anyone else who works with young children. In a statement, Brian Tamaki said he had not been formally served any papers and further wanted to emphasise that the church was not afraid of any potential court case. Today, no fairy tale ending for any party, just the beginning of a rainbow story that's set to be tested in court. Yvonne Tahana, One News.